Hello everyone, I am Lainey and welcome to my full playthrough of Resident Evil 8 Village. It will be released in parts for my sanity and because it would be tremendously long, but I hope you will join me on this journey to eliminate even more zombies slash creatures slash beings of this world. I am so excited to get into this game, and while I do have a minor understanding of the events that have landed us in today's predicament, I did not play Resident Evil 7, its predecessor, and probably a lot of them. The story is cloudy at best. Luckily, this game comes with a full cinematic summarizing those events for us. Let's take a look at that together. <sighs> okay. Where to start? My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. It's all over now. I'm sorry, Ethan. It's definitely not over. I'm really interested about what happened to the little kid. That is really creepy. But I think Chris Redfield was certainly a character previously from the Resident Evil franchise. And he seems to still be around. I don't know if he's going to be in this game, but we're about to find out. Let's start new. We'll go with... We're not going hardcore, all right? But we're not going casual. We're going standard. Well, let's set our expectations to a reasonable level. Here we go. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. 
Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. The woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Okay. I'll be honest. That woman is creepy. I'm glad I'm carrying Rose. I got you, little one. Don't you worry. Let me look around now. Oh, this is beautiful. So I got a couple of things to say before we look around here on this what looks like my home. I adored the way they did that story. Most importantly, and I don't know if this is a thing with me, but I am really intrigued to hear who the voice actress for this was. She was so good. And every time the little girl was supposed to be happy, like I felt it in the voice, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I'm a total geek for voice actors. There you go. I must know. So I'll figure it out after this, but I'm, I'm, I really, really love that story. And, of course, it was uh, kind of brutal because poor little girl. I mean, how was she supposed to know? That was, a, that was a trap. That was entrapment. And my little baby Rose. Okay, we're doing good. Am I just eating squash? Well, at least they gave me some bread here. With a little bit of marinara, perhaps. Uh, she really likes bread hurry and marinara. Up, Rose to sleep, will you? Oh, okay. I have to hurry. All right. I'm just chilling, woman. I'm carrying my daughter. Just looking around. Let me be, let me be. Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, all right? <laughs> That's a weird drink to have. Oh. Oh, Mia. What a miracle. It was a miracle. Look at our beautiful baby. As long as she stays alive, I am happy. I don't know if I'm taking too long here, but I just wanted to check out the whole place. I feel like I've played so many survival games, I want to press F. So I can see. So I can see better. Like, maybe I have a flashlight on me. This house is not well lit. And we have our little TV stand here. There we go. Put a little car cartoon on, not bad. Well, let's leave it on, because it'll give me a little bit more light. And the piano. All right, let's put the baby to sleep, though. It seems that's where we're going. I can't really tell if this is the way to put them to bed, but, you know, little Rose is going to sleep, finally. Oh, we have a little carriage here. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Oh, we cannot go for a walk yet. All right, I see. Are we in a murder house? I don't know. I am walking awfully slow. I don't know if this is just how it's supposed to be around here. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. 
I mean, he's not wrong, but she is a baby, so I think she's also not wrong. More like whatever you want to read to yourself. She won't know anything. <laughs> Let's be real. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a nice bathroom. These people have money? Holy, this is a beautiful bathroom. He has medications. He's been a strict regimen since the incident. Okay, that's what we're calling it. Okay, so that's why she's acting weird. She's acting weird because she's on a medication. Your mom and I love this song so much. She was acting a little loopy. But maybe she needs it. Right? Aww. That's beautiful. Almost there, honey. Almost there, baby. Okay. And apparently this is her room. Oh my god. This is this is not bad. Well, I guess they're sharing the bedroom, so. Mm. Put the baby here. There you go, sweetheart. Oh my god. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Ah, uh, they did a really good job with the character models. Of course they did, you know. A multi-dollar company and all, but oof. It, it looks really good. Even the rug? I don't know, I'm just a sucker for these things, for clothes. And, you know, drapes and stuff like that that looks good, or hair. Rose's clothes for tomorrow, we've even laid that out. We're good parents, guys. I think that's good. Alright, let's open here. Um, okay. Close it. That's a mistake. <laughs> My clothes are pretty basic. <laughs> um, maybe those are Mia's clothes, alright? Who knows? Who knows what she's into? Let's go over here. And we have a little study. Uh, is there a light switch? Maybe we're supposed to see things this dark. <laughs> Aww. Me and my waifu. Okay, let's go right. Oh, she's pregnant. Look at all those little baby roses right there. I went the wrong way. I guess A is to turn the right way. That makes sense. I just thought it, it meant... yeah. Okay, you know what I mean. I am sure you do. Oh my god. No, was she a sicky baby? Oh no. But look, she's good. She's happy. I wish yeah. it could stay like this forever. I wish she could. Look at her. Well, no, because then I would have to take care of her. And, I mean, let's be real. In this world, I don't think things are going to go very well. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's just examine all the happiness until then. Uh, okay, February 6, 2021. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago, and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rosa properly. But I can still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. Okay, so they did move. They did move. They're in Europe now. All right, that, that makes sense. That makes absolute sense. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at me at the hospital if she didn't care. Yeah. He's not wrong. He's not wrong, but leaving this out here like that, you're just... You're just... Asking for Mia to run into this and she ain't gonna be happy. <laughs> Nobody likes to be told what they need to work on. What are you thinking, man? Oh, yeah. So his name is uh, something Winters, right? Uh, Nathan. Nathan. Ethan. 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 That's his name. <laughs> okay. We're Ethan. All right. Perfect. So this is the protagonist that was in Resident Evil 7. And I guess we're playing him in Resident Evil 8 too. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with playing a male. I have a beautiful wife and a baby. Uh, okay, so we have Rosemary Winthers, which I guess is our little baby. Date of birth, February 8th, 2020. And all her, you know, her things. Uh, all results show no issues. Patients in good health, okay. Results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, Rose, please, no. Rose is fine. Rose is fine. Yeah, exactly. Where's his favorite toy? Uh, I don't know why he's so excited. I, I really don't think she's that fine. I'm a little bit worried. All right, I put her to bed. Let's hope there's no... Is the window closed? Right, you gotta check the windows, guys, all right? 
You don't want any any weird situation going on, especially in a world like this. No, no, no. Keep those windows closed. Don't tempt fate. We're going back down. But I guess we are in Europe, so we are away from Louisiana, away from the scary things. And you know, we have some wine and a ton of bread. Apparently Mia loves making bread. Or buying bread, it's hard to say. Mia, I've explored the home. Is she okay? Sleeping like a... well, like a baby. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's Chorba de la Gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> What? Mia, get down. No. <gasps> Mia! No! Gross! <laughs> Mia. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? It, what? He's the good guy. Go move! Oh no, man. No, not the baby! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Oh no. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Shook. What in the world? I was about to have dinner. They interrupted dinner. Yeah, and they murdered my wife, but they interrupted dinner. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. See, as I predicted. That was the that was Doc. doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I, I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Ah, oh, men. Am I right? She was clearly trying to tell you something. Oh, my little angel. I promise I was gonna try to be quiet during these, but what in the world just happened to me? Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not 
Happened here. I think uh, I'm back in control. All right. All right, so we had an accident, clearly. Oh, no. Uh, the thing is, Chris Redfield is supposed to be a good guy. Unless I'm missing something. So whatever he did, he had to do. I mean, he set us up over here in Europe. Everything was going well. Until clearly we got the results of the baby, right? That that's it. That's the that's the defining moment in this story, and uh, things are not going things are not going well for little Rose. I don't know what happened here. Maybe was this little Rose? No, I don't know. She's just a baby. Mission objectives: eliminate target, recover body. Okay, so they were trying to get my wife. That's who it is. Poor Mia. Okay, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. We're safe. Right? Because, uh, or maybe we need to be some sort of poked and prodded for some reason. We'll find out. Move the two winters to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Yep. We're going to get poked and prodded. That's what it was. Okay. Good to know. It's useless. The phone is dead. This poor man is a little crispy bacon. Or woman, I suppose. We will never know. And, uh, can we crouch? Is there crouch? There is crouch. All right. I love that. And I don't know why I was so excited about it. There's nothing there. Okay. This is, um, uh, absolutely terrifying. I guess we continue. Oh, my God. Okay. They wouldn't kill me this early into the game, right? Uh, you never know, I guess. I can punch. Maybe. No. There's no punch. Alright. I'm at the mercy of whatever happens here. Crouch. Oh my god. Am I even going the right way? I don't know. I might be lost for a bit here. Oh, no, no, no. I am going. I am going somewhere. Okay. Crouch. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Oh, they still hurt me. Uncool. Yeah, I know. I know I can, and I can stand up again. Thank you. But why stand up? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. What, what is this? That's just a bird. Okay, it's just a bird. A little gutted bird. Guys, this is so dark. I am terrified. Do I follow the trail of birds? I think I have no choice. Oh my god! Are they everywhere? No, they're strong up birds? Okay, this was not an animal. Push, 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 push. <gasps> Okay, run past it, run past it. If I don't see it, it didn't happen. <sighs> I'm only following death because there's nowhere else to go. <gasps> that was something. Or someone. Come back here. Show yourself. This poor man. 
He went through a nightmare in Louisiana. And look at this. He's dropped into... A, yeah. A cabin in the woods. This is gonna go well. I gotta say, the sound design on this game is amazing. It reminds me a lot of, like, Alien Isolation. The branch is there, the bird, the whatever creature human thing that was coming at us. Everything really ominous when it was happening. I loved it. I am slightly terrified, but I plan to continue. I thought this was... Okay, it's that. Yeah, it works. Okay. This is the person that hanged the birds. I think it's safe to say. That is very likely. Okay. Water's off. So probably not a person if it doesn't need water, right? Detective Laney is on the case. Okay, some medication here. Garlic? That's a lot of garlic. And let's see. A bed? Maybe they are human. If they need to sleep. <gasps> what in the world? Someone's here. Or something. Can I hide in here? That's a no-go. Obviously, I need to go upstairs somehow. So let's just continue. Or even worse. Going downstairs. Oh no, taxidermy! No, 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 no! <laughs> I watched the Bates Motel, all right? I don't need this. I know where this is going. I'm sorry if you're into taxidermy, but it's just, it's never good on movies whenever there's taxidermy animals out, right? It's always an indication of a murder. It's like, that's how they start. I don't need to see more. I don't need to see more at all. Are you kidding? All right, all right, all right. There's blood on this one. Okay, it's, it's alive. The little mouse, it's alive. Okay. Okay. I didn't do anything. Oh no. Oh no. I have no weapon! Give me a weapon. Can I grab this broom? Let me grab at least that umbrella. Whatever's here is inside the house. I thought it was on the roof, but... Or upstairs, but I guess... Oh Am I going to die here? Oh. Um. It is what it is. Here we go. trapped. I'm absolutely trapped. Okay. okay. He knows what to do, no worries. Oh. Oh no. I bet the blood is calling it. 
like a shark. What did all this? It smells me. prettier in the morning, I gotta say. It actually makes sense. <gasps> oh, Where wow. the hell am I? Where in the world indeed? It's beautiful. Incredible, we're going exploring. 